Hello again, everybody. This is Derek at ScreamingGoalAirsoft.com, and today I'm coming to you again with another handgun review. This is of the G2. Okay, it's listed as the HGX 125B for black. Okay, HGX 125. It's right here. Um, you take a look at that. It kind of looks a little bit like a 1911. Uh, with maybe an extended barrel like from here forward looks like it would be an extended barrel um, but and it's a heavier weighted barrel uh, I mean simulated it's not actually this is mostly plastic the uh, weight of this gun is in the gas canister that is located in the pistol grip it's not inside the magazine it's in the pistol grip it is a green gas gun it is not blowback Let's go ahead and take a look, closer look at this gun and show you all the details of it. All right, now this is the box. This is what you get it in. This is the G2 or the HGX 125. It's a gas model gun. It says that it's an ABS resin and zinc metal alloy. Um, I would say the zinc metal alloy is the gas and the barrel, the gas chamber and the barrel and inner workings because the outside is the ABS resin. Velocity 290 FPS. That it does shoot pretty hard. Okay, um, it has um, a 24 bullet magazine capacity, and the magazines that you get with, I've got some things that I've got problems with on those. So, but uh, but they're work. They're, you can work with them. Let me let me show you what they what you get. Uh, you open this up. You get a box. You get no styrofoam. That's a plus. You get a magazine, it's mostly, I mean a magazine, you get a manual, and it's mostly in French, but there are English, and it is in, there are pictures, and you pretty much probably already know how to operate this gun, but I'm going to share it with you. There's only, it's only a single page foldout, one-sided, uh, single page foldout, and only three of the pages have any manual part of them. The other three pages on this manual are targets. Uh, that's pretty cool. You can take these targets and you can print them out, you know, copy them on your scanner and print them out on your printer, and you can have an infinite number of these targets. Okay. Looking at the box, these two things right there are the magazines. They are just stick magazines that you load your BBs in, and same thing with this, it's just a different style. This is the, it comes with a flat style one. Um, and this one feels plastic, and this one is metal and it has a metal uh, speed loader type bottom. So let's show you those. Okay, when these magazines go in, you just slide them in and they're in. To get them out, you need to actually pry them out with your fingernail and pull it out. There's a little piece of metal, zinc alloy, right there, spring-loaded, that holds the magazine in place. So when you take it out, you gotta kinda pry it out, pull it out. There's not a magazine release button that releases your magazine. Same thing with the metal one. It also has that little metal catch that when it slides in, it stays in. You gotta grab it and pull it out. This one's a lot easier to use because there's something to grab to pull it out. Plus, this one, I don't believe this one does. No, that one doesn't. But this one also covers your gas uh, valve right there uh, when you put it in, so there keeps a little dirt and gunk out of it. Okay, it comes with a pretty pretty cool little touch. It comes with this little box, G2 box, with these crappy BBs. That's not the cool touch. Okay, it comes with a little bit of oil in a bag that you can use to oil your gun if you ever need to. That is pretty cool. I like that idea. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to load both magazines and I'm going to fill this with gas and I'll be able to shoot both magazines on one gas load. I could probably shoot four magazines um, and what I'm going to do is we're going to shoot at my satellite dish over there uh, that I've set up for this role specifically. It's an extra satellite dish. Okay, uh, what else? Oh, sights. Sights. Um, there is a screw in the top of these sights. Uh, it looks like it might be adjustable up and down. Um, I'm not touching it. 
there's no need to because it's pretty much set perfectly for me but there's a screw right there and it looks like there's a hinge on the back sight for it to go up and down for elevation I'm not sure if you ever would need to do that and it's just your simple try uh, there you go sight okay um, this top piece is plastic and can be pried off um, there's no real need to do that uh, because when it came, I actually had to put it on, pry it onto it. But it's on there now. Once I put it on, there's no, it's not coming off. It's not like it's loose anymore. Okay, uh, what else? Okay, the barrel on this handgun actually stops right about there. There is a, this barrel extension is awful large. Um, and I don't know if you could see that in there, but it looks like it's a, like a big bullet. But if you look deep enough, you'll see the inner barrel. It stops right about there. Okay, these safes on the sides here, these uh, 1911 safes, they don't work. They're they're flimsy. They don't even they're not even connected to each other. So you you can have one up and one down. It's no they don't do anything. This grip safe does not exist. It's just solid plastic. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and fill up the gas chamber. Now, when you're filling up the gas chamber, you don't want to see how this uh, magazine bottom is flat this way. You got to look at the magazine is actually angled in this direction. So you actually, when you load it, don't angle it, don't load it flat with the bottom. You got to load it parallel with the grip of the magazine, uh, grip of the uh, handgun. Here we go. Let's load this bad boy up, and it's done. It's loaded. All right, now let's load some magazines with some BBs. Okay, and then I can, oh, I wanted to say something. When you, when you put your magazines into the gun, you don't be gentle, okay? Don't slowly slide it in. I did that earlier, and all the BBs came spraying out of the magazine. You know, kind of like your old AEGs, when you pull the magazine out, you got all these BBs inside still that, are, that was uh, being loaded into the hop-up. It's kind of the same way except the whole magazine empty. That was, I was kind of like shocked. Okay, holding this down with my finger while I use a speed loader to go straight in the top. All right, what do you call it? Fully loaded, that's one. And let's put that in. Second one, right here. This one feels plastic. Remember that one was metal. Straight in. I might not even have to hold it down with my thumb, but I am. All right, let's go take a few shots and see what we get out of it. All right, guys, we're sitting out here at 50 feet, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot. Let me move this camera over just a little bit. There's my 50 foot mark. Okay, um, the target right there is 50 foot. It's a dish network sign it's about 24 inches in diameter I'm gonna zoom this in a little bit so you can kind of see the impacts you'll also should be able to hear it whoa what am I doing here we go With switching magazines. Let's see if I can aim this a little bit better. Let's zoom out. That's the end of that magazine. All right, well that was the HGX 125 and you got to see how it shot and you got to see the uh, functioning of how the magazines go in and the gas goes in the pistol grip itself um, you can actually get four magazines worth of shots from this it is not a blowback gun it is just a standard green gas gun um, thank you for coming out and checking out this video remember guys uh, 
really appreciate all you subscribers, so go ahead and subscribe. And whenever you're on the airsoft field, play safe.